I gotta say, I've listened to Rogan. Uh, I personally found episodes of the show fascinating and interesting. He's a, a, a strange but good interviewer. He covers all sorts of stuff. But Rogan has repeatedly made racist, sexist, anti-trans comments on his show. He's increasingly embraced the right-wing anti-vax. <laughs> Wait, where, where were the ra- Oh my god, he just goes through the litany. Joe yep. Rogan's a racist transphobe. Racist, sexist, homophobe. Yeah. And you know what's interesting too? If you look at these quote unquote articles, none of them are from even mainstream sources. What? You've got oh my, you've got two are. New, holy shit. You, you got two magazines I've never fucking heard of. The Advocate, Advocate. and Complex. Right. I don't know what I don't know what these are. I'm they both have the some... same logo. Look at that. <laughs> You're right. I wonder. Wait a minute. They're very into the impact font. Yeah, I wonder if it's the same thing. Maybe that maybe that's not the name of the magazine. Screams AstroTurf. Joe hmm. Rogan con- the so the headlines are Joe Rogan continues to spew anti-trans rhetoric on his Spotify podcast. Uh, Complex says Joe Rogan says it's very strange to call someone uh, black unless <laughs> someone black unless person is one hundred percent African from the darkest place. <laughs> is uh, did he what was that said? No, that, well it's it's out of context. That's from the Jordan Pearson conversation. Joe Rogan comments on Angelina yes. Jolie's genitals. Oh my God. I so I brought up oh my god I didn't I didn't look at this until just this second. What was the Angelina Jolie's genitals? I got to. Oh, I don't know now. about that. I have no clue what that is. But I brought up this. Joe Rogan continues to spew anti-trans rhetoric uh-huh. from this Advocate magazine, right. which is a gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, queer news site. Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> the the subtitle under it is a picture of Joe Rogan. Right under it says. The podcast host who was joined by right-wing provocateur Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson. Suggests yep. trans people are evidence of societal collapse. Mm-hmm. Which is not what he said. Mm-hmm. Oh, and look at this. Oh, no. Okay, they didn't, they didn't do the full lie. They said on January 25th, Rogan hosted Jordan Peterson, retired Canadian psycho- psychology professor turned right-wing provocateur who posited that being trans is both a sociological contagion and similar to the now debunked satanic panic in the 1980s. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's not that doesn't incorporate the lie. I just it's so weird that you just you have to agree with them on every single thing otherwise you're a right-wing uh, provocateur. Right. It's no, like, but no, I just disagree with you on this one issue. This is where, and I hate this. It's so despicable. And this is the tactic. They're like, they're like, we need this. We want to smear. Chris Hayes is like, okay, I want to smear Joe Rogan as a transphobe and a racist. Mm-hmm. Grab me some headlines. And <laughs> so it's of like, course. so they, it's like whenever there's any fucking rag anywhere out there in the world that can put whatever cra- crazy shit they want in the headline, they can just post it yeah. and say, see, People are saying that you're racist. See, people are saying you're transphobe. There's some article written by who the fuck knows who on who the fuck knows what publication. So therefore, it must be true. Yeah. Journalistic standards have dropped to nothing. Zero, zip, zero. This is why the the, the context has changed so much. Because journalistic Mm -hmm. standards, they can do these, they can literally lie to every single person just on a lark. It's awful. Oh my God. I looked up a picture of the lady that wrote the the anti Joe Rogan is transphobe article. Oh no! Should we bring it's it up? It's literally, literally this stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the creativity? I can't even believe it's literally the stereotype, like down to a T. It's shocking. I wouldn't have believed this was a real. I would have thought this was like a troll picture. It's like the pink hair. The the big red lipstick, you know, I'm talking about. It's like just it's the exact image in your mind you have of like the woke cry bully SJW from mm-hmm. from 2016. Ouch! It's crazy. Anyways, let's bro- go. Let's move. It's on. COVID skeptic platform, including suggesting President Biden did not actually get a booster shot on live TV because he could have died or blacked out. He's given friendly <laughs> interviews to people. <laughs> it's, I mean, is it? <sighs> Anyone who's worked in show business knows 
that that's valid speculation. That is valid speculation. What the fuck? Chris Hayes knows that's a lie. Right. Of course. It's, come on. Well, and also if you notice, all these, besides the LGBT ones, all these articles are coming from Media Matters. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is a which is a political dissemination. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a political propaganda and hit piece manufacturing machine. Right. Yes. That's its role. That's literally its its designed role. Yes. Smear Republicans. Yep. People spreading just wildly wrong and dangerous misinformation about COVID. It got to a point where rock icon Neil Young uh, said, "Oh, now he's the rock icon." Notice the the voice change. It's all dour when he's talking about Joe Rogan. Now it's like, "Oh, rock icon, <laughs> this guy who we all love." Remember this guy that you've maybe never heard of, if unless you're over the age of thirty. Right. Remember this American hero, Neil Young, <laughs> who we're propping up to use. Uh, I don't want to be part of this anymore. And wrote a letter to Spotify saying the company had to choose between well, him and also Rogan. He's so bother- he's so fucking old. He wrote a letter. I know. Yeah, right. <laughs> he put the stamp. Neil Young's like, ah, let me put the stamp on my. I'm gonna send this in the mail. Spotify, please respond within seven business days, or you will hear from my attorney. No, <laughs> so, but and it's so it, it's. It annoys me because you know, like Joe Rogan said very dangerous things about the vaccine. Mm-hmm. COVID. It's like, well, yeah. what did he say, Chris? I yeah. mean, if we're going to get out the tort, think about very how this dangerous is structured. things. <laughs> right, right. Think about how this is structured. This is a piece designed to get Chris's audience to pull out the torches and to burn uh, Joe Rogan at the stake. Right. And yet he doesn't feel it's necessary to explain what exactly Joe Rogan said that's so bad. Did, did you w- ever watch 300? You said you But isn't that terrifying? It. it is terrifying. Did you did you rewatch 300? I did not rewatch. Okay, no. you got to 300 is an amazing movie. I can't believe you don't like that movie. But mm-hmm. this is exactly the scene in the Senate when the fucking manipulative motherfucking politician steps up and he's told He's told everyone he's going to do one thing, and then he does the complete opposite. Lies to everyone, fucks everyone over. Right. This is exactly what Chris Hayes is doing. He's just a fucking lying snake in the grass. Apparently in 1985, Mm -hmm. I don't know if Neil Young ever apologized for this. Oh, no. They're digging up shit on him. Uh Uh-oh. Neil Young said it's scary it's it is scary you go to a supermarket and you see a f slur uh-huh. behind the cash register and you don't want him to handle your potatoes oh because the aids he said crisis. this in reference to aids and yeah. catching aids from gay people. yeah of course of course <laughs> you want to play this game play go ahead and play uh, this game especially if you're famous because uh, famous people have been being recorded you know for time and memorial you go ahead and play this game Play this mm-hmm. game. Go ahead. See how it ends. Well, and it's also so funny because it's like you have all these people who, you know, were these rockers or hippies mm-hmm. who are all so anti, you know, fight the power, fight the machine, fight the man. Mm-hmm. And now that they're old, they're like, oh, how dare you fight the man? <laughs> <laughs> how true. dare you be controversial? How dare you buck the system? <laughs> it's so true. All of them. I'm revoking all of their artist cards. I don't look Pathetic. at Neil Young as an artist anymore. No. Pathetic. Yeah. He's a he's a good he's a guitar technician. <laughs> there you go. Before removing music from the streaming service. So Spotify chose Rogan. They took his songs down. And then this old geezer jumped in. <laughs> oh, here's my chance to be relevant. Let me step up before I die. Here's a merfolk wearing a dress. <laughs> it's like, take my music off Spotify. For those of you guys just listening, I don't, is this Joni Mitchell that they were talking about? <laughs> this is Joni. No, this is okay. a, a merfolk. What are you talking about? Joni Mitchell looks Some like. Some kind of mythical fish creature. They have put a woman who is 125 <laughs> on the screen for us to marvel at. It's... This, 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 this looks like a fish creature from a Zelda game. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Joni Mitchell called up and said, "Listen, I'm already worth a billion dollars here. Take my take my 
music off of your platform. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be on MySpace anymore. It, it, Joni, it's it's Spotify. MySpace isn't around anymore. I don't <laughs> care. Take my music off your stupid computer. Take it off the internet entirely. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want it put in my casket. I want to be buried with it. <laughs> then legendary singer-songwriter Joni Mitchell. Oh, of course. Joni Mitchell's like, oh, do you want to get... You want to get a picture with my COVID mask on? Look, look, <laughs> look, you can get one for the We're newspaper being very mean to, Johnny. <laughs> to show that I wear my COVID mask, just like everyone told me to do. There you go. Well, uh, Joni Mitchell, they have chose, you know, listen, you know, they chose a picture of Joni Mitchell in a COVID mask because it's a COVID related story. There's no, there's a, a bazillion pictures of Joni Mitchell. They don't need one of her in the COVID mask. How come? Look at this. I didn't even realize this. So I looked up now. Joni Mitchell and uh, mm -hmm. Fuckface, whose name I've already forgotten. Neil mm -hmm. Young. Both Canadians. Really? They're not even Get American? Get your Canadians mm -hmm. out of my American platform demanding good Americans like Joe Rogan be removed. Get your Canadian. Yeah. Look, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. We need to invade Canada. Okay. There's yeah. too many negative cultural influences coming across our northern border mm -hmm. that we need to deal with. Is that Canada with a population less than the state of California? That That's Canada, right. is that what we're talking about? That's what we're talking that about. That little backwater state. <laughs> that little tiny backwater state. Listen, Canada, Jones. you all know that you all want to be part of America. It's like, just... oh, think about God. it this way. We, Instead of calling it Canada, we should call it the USAA, mm -hmm. the United States of America adjacent. <laughs> That's good. That's the USA and it's the USAA. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Joni Mitchell. Followed suit. She said, quote, irresponsible people are spreading lies that are costing people their lives. And so after weeks of sustained pressure and a rapidly falling stock price, Spotify has now announced they're going to... Oh, Ooh, he even threw the rapidly falling stock price in there. He threw the stock price line, yeah. yeah. I'm sure half of his half of his family is investment bankers, so he knows that's a big fat lie. I'm going to put a content warning on Joe Rogan's podcast, and Rogan, who is clearly spooked, posted this nearly... Oh, you, you like that, that mind Why? reading Rogan? Why would he do spooked. that? First Why of all, would he do that? Why would he? <laughs> Listen, Chris, considering this N word thing, I cannot believe you just. I used know. That word. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm I saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Terrible. 10 minute video on Instagram basically says, sure, we get lots of stuff wrong, but we're just talking here. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I'm just a person who sits down and talks to people and has conversations with them. Do I get, to get something the, interested uh, in finding out? Eight inch yeah, the it's bizarre too because the argument that he's making here, mm -hmm. you're on a fucking news station, Chris Hayes. How about you get it right? How about you don't throw those little jabs in and you don't talk yeah. about how Spotify stock tanks because of Joe Rogan? Okay, Tesla stock tank too, and it wasn't because of Joe Rogan. Okay. The fucking Facebook stock cratered 28%. You well, think it's because of Joe Rogan? And, I mean, we covered Chris. He was peddling all sorts of crazy misinformation about Kyle Rittenhouse. Oh, exactly. Totally. He's <laughs> just having a conversation. Somehow the big dope Joe Rogan gets the whole Kyle Rittenhouse situation, right? How come mm -hmm. you couldn't? Yeah. How come you couldn't, Chris Hayes? We figured Where it is, out the night it happened. Where's the reckoning? For the Kyle Rittenhouse misinformation, for the constant misinformation about police shootings to make, you know, there, there's a, there was some uh, poll that was like the majority of people that voted for Biden are Democrats. Oh, I know. I saw that. Thought that, <laughs> thought that a thousand black people or over a thousand. It was black worse. People, it was like 10,000. Yeah, they thought like a thousand or ten thousand unarmed black people were killed by the police in each like year, twenty twenty. Yeah, it's like what? A thousand, ten thousand? It's like try like fifteen. <laughs> okay. Yes. Try, you know, it's, it's low, 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 low double digits. Like, well, get the fuck out of here. There's like eight, nine hundred officer involved shootings a year. Right. It's like there's way more police officers that die every year. 
Oh, and, that you know, too. Unarmed, yeah. you know, unarmed uh, black men killed by the police. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But, but it's just this constant, if we just talk about the story again, and again, every time a story comes up, we'll talk about it and we'll make people think it's like happening everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Chris Hayes is a is a dirty, dirty smear merchant. I mean, I remember profession. Chris... I remember Chris Hayes during uh, Michael Brown trial. I remember Chris Hayes right after Michael Brown died. Mm -hmm. And there was that fake narrative about, you know, he had his hands up. Mm -hmm. And he, Chris Hayes was standing there like in that neighborhood with his little, little bulletproof vest on <laughs> and a little helmet that said press on it. And he's like oh, sitting there like waiting that. for the riot to happen. He's just salivating, waiting for like the fires to start so they can show them on TV. Yeah. 